One of the very sad and upsetting outcomes of the Gaza conflict is the renewed call, this time from the far left instead of the far right, for cutting aid to Israel. And I want to explain why the amount of money that the United States gives to Israel is so important for the United States, and why this call is coming from the anti-Semites and the anti-Israel people. They're pretending it's for the purposes of helping the United States, but it's really just an attack at the United at the State of Israel. It's led by Bernie Sanders, this Jew-hating, anti-Israel, unfortunately Jewish traitor, and the squad and the other progressives. Uh, 38% of Democrats blame Israel and not Hamas that sent 4,500 missiles, 700 of which landed in Gaza, misfiring, hurting their own people, uh, and they're blaming Israel. Uh, these these uh, members of Congress and the progressives in the Democratic Party. Okay, so what are the reasons why U.S. aid is so important? Number one, the stipulation is that all of the money given to Israel has to come back to the United States and buy products here. It helps military contracts, it helps our economy. Israel is the only country in the world required to spend U.S. money uh, that they get in the United States, and it helps the United States. Number two, it's a huge bargain. The Yiddish word for this is metzia. As Senator Rudy Boschowitz, who served when George Herbert Walker Bush was president, said he used to say to President Bush, it's a metzia. He, he would say to him, how much money, when Bush asked him, tell me why we give money to Israel, Boschowitz said, well, how much money do you spend in Germany and how many U.S. troops and how much money do you spend in South Korea to support South Korea and how many U.S. troops and throughout the world, how many U.S. troops do we have and how much money of the hundreds of billions of dollars in the U.S. Defense Department budget is spent protecting other countries and how many troops? Israel... It's a meager $4 billion. Now, they call it foreign aid, but it really should come out of the Defense Department because it buttresses the Middle East for the United States. And it's a tiny little fraction of the amount of money we spend in Germany, South Korea, and throughout the world, NATO, etc., defending other countries. And it costs zero U.S. troops and a meager amount of money considering the huge U.S. Defense Department budget. Now, it's also in the national security interest to give this money. First of all, just repeat the comment I just made, that uh, Israel is the only country in the world, in the Middle East, that U.S. can depend on a day from now. Just remember how quickly we went from a pro-American Shah in Iran to Khomeini, the most vicious anti-American person in the Middle East. And there isn't a single country in the whole of the Middle East, and Northern Africa, that's Muslim, that couldn't be changed with one bullet tomorrow, except for the state of Israel. That's why it's the only dependable democracy, and that's why it's vital for U.S. security interests to help stabilize Israel and give them a military superiority, since they're overwhelmed by the people that hate them in the region. Uh, the second point is that Israel takes U.S. equipment, like the F-35 is an example, improves it, and shares the improvements back with the United States. It helps the United States military. And that's been repeated over and over. And finally, there's only been one time in history when U.S. military equipment was tested in battle with Soviet military equipment, and that's with Israel fighting the Arabs. Arabs primarily had Russian-Soviet equipment, uh, Israel used the United States military equipment, and they've been able to battle test it. It's the only time. And so it, it helps U.S. national security. So for these reasons, giving aid to Israel, which is called foreign aid, but really should be Defense Department aid, is vital to America. It helps Israel. It helps stabilize the region. And just witness all of these great peace agreements between Israel and other nations under President Trump that were done precisely to create a wedge against Iran that Obama supported and now Biden seems to be supporting. And that's the major reason for this whole Gaza conflict, that Iran sees Biden as weak because he he's desperate to renegotiate this agreement. So this is why American foreign aid to Israel is so vital for U.S. interests.